Coffee Break Chinese, Season 1, Episode 12. Ni hao, wo chao peng ma ke. Ni hao ma ke, wo shi Crystal. Ni hao ma Crystal. Fei chang hao, ni na? Jin tian bu tai hao. Wei shi ma, why? Wo lei le. Aww. I'm tired today. But not to worry, we're back with another episode of Coffee Break Chinese. And at this time, we're going to be taking the topic that we started last week a little further. We were ordering drinks and we'll be taking that a little further because today it's time to think about some food. Mm. One of the most f- fascinating things about, th- about all things Chinese is, of course, the food. And we'll be learning some of that today. Well, indeed, Mark, food is extremely important. We have a saying, food is heaven. And what's that in Chinese? 民以食为天 民以食为天 Okay, food is heaven. Let's get started. 准备好了吗? 准备好了 Okay, let's begin. But before we get on to the food topic and the restaurants and so on, let's do a little bit of review. And to do this, we've prepared a conversation. The idea is here, I'm going to be playing the part of the waiter and Crystal is going to be the, playing the part of a of a, a young Chinese lady out with her boyfriend. Mm. Okay, so let's begin. 你好. 你好。我要一杯橙汁. 我男朋友要一杯咖啡。没问题。什么咖啡? Okay, so I'm off to get the drinks. I come back. Nida Chungta Gay Nida Kapuchi no. So they enjoy their drinks and it's time to ask for the bill. My dan Gay Yi Gong Yi Bai Kwai Yi Bai Kwai. Okay, 100 kwai there. A lot of money. A lot of money, yeah, for, for two drinks. Okay, so obviously in this very high-end uh, coffee shop, uh, we were ordering some drinks. Well, Crystal and her boyfriend were ordering some drinks. Let's listen again. The the word for boyfriend, let's just listen to that. We have learned friend. Mm-hmm. 朋友. 朋友. So boyfriend is a 男朋友. 男朋友. Mm-hmm. What would girlfriend be? 女朋友. 女朋友 And that 女 is We've heard female. it in 女儿 女儿 mm-hmm. Okay 男 is male oh, Okay 男朋友 So my male friend mm. Okay, let's hear the conversation again 你好 你好我要一杯橙汁 我男朋友要一杯咖啡 没问题 什么咖啡? 卡布奇诺谢谢 so I come back. 你的橙汁给你的卡布奇诺。谢谢。买单。给一共一百块。给一百块。谢谢。So what happened there? What were we ordering or what was Crystal ordering? First of all, she said, I would like or I want a... Orange juice. Orange juice, which was in, in Mandarin? Cheng zhi. Cheng zhi. And then for her boyfriend, what did she order? Coffee. Coffee, of course. Now, me being the, the waiter, I said, Mei wen ti. Can you hear that in good tones? Mei wen ti. Mei wen ti. Wasn't too bad. So no problem. Mm-hmm. But then I did ask for a further clarification on the coffee. Shunma cafe. What what coffee do you want? Mm-hmm. And you pre- you give the the more detailed response. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. A cappuccino. Mm-hmm. So then I came back with the orange juice and the cappuccino, and then uh, you asked for the bill, and the bill was. My dan. My dan, and so I brought the bill, and it came to. Yi gong yi bai kuai. So altogether, yi bai kuai. 100 RMB. 100 RMB. So that was very expensive for one cappuccino and one, fr- it must be freshly pressed with with the best oranges in the whole country. Okay. 
<laughs> so that is some review of the, the drinks language that we covered last time. Let's move on to the idea of going to a restaurant. Now, whenever I turn up at a restaurant, the first question I'm always asked is how many people is it for or the table is for how many? Now, sometimes it's very obvious if there are four of us standing there, it's obviously a table for four. But how would you say that in, in Chinese? How many people? 几个人? 几个人? So 人 is people. We've heard that before. The person, 人. 几个? 几 means how many. Mm-hmm. 个 is the measure word for people. Right. So last time we learned the measure word for cups and, and juices mm. and coffees and things like that. Mm. And that was, uh, in this case, it was bei. Bei. Bei, bei mm. first one. So mm. yi bei was uh, one, one cup. cup and yang bei was two cups, wasn't it? And then it went to san bei, bei and si bei, bei and so on. Mm. So if, c- can I apply that to the measure word Mm. that you've just told us you said ge how many people mm. or sorry ge zhen how many people could i say if it were for let's say uh, three people mm. could i say san ge zhen so three people measure word mm. people yes san ge zhen and if it were for four people se ge zhen <laughs> Sometimes you don't have to say zhen because it's obviously we're talking about people. You just answer si ge. But, mm. but just saying si on its own wouldn't be right there. No. Okay, you need the measure word for mm. people. So si ge for people. Mm. people. <laughs> si ge. And for, for two, would that be yang ge? Right, so it's not er ge. Yang ge. Uh-huh. Yang ge zhen for two people. So let's practice this one more time. Uh, I'm arriving at the the restaurant and I have three friends with me. So how would how would this this communication take place? Uh, okay, so you have four of you. Four of us in total. Mm-hmm. So how many people? Four people. Mm-hmm. What would the next thing be? What would the the waiter or the maitre d say? I would say, 这边请. What does that mean? This way, please. Okay. 这边请, mm-hmm. And that 这, is that the same 这 as in 这是? Okay, 这边请, this mm-hmm. way please. Uh-huh. Right. Okay, one other situation. Mm-hmm. Perhaps you don't have a table. Mm-hmm. So you're full. How would you say that you don't have a table? You say, 我们满了. 我们? Man la. Literally, woman means we. we yeah. Man means full. Okay. La, the situation is we are full already. Okay, so it's past. Uh-huh. The, 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 okay, you have become full. Uh-huh. That, that le is that kind of past thing, isn't it? Yeah, and also it describes the situation, okay. the status. So if the restaurant was full, then you might hear, I'm sorry, we're full. 对不起, 我们满了. 对不起,我们满了. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. However, let's let's not go there because that would be a bit of a shame and we wouldn't get much in the way of practice of food vocabulary if we didn't have a table. So let's imagine we've got a table. Mm-hmm. You've asked us to come this way to follow you. Mm-hmm. 这边请. 这边请. Mm-hmm. And we're sitting down and I would like to see the menu. How do you say menu in Mandarin? 菜单菜单 menu 菜单 Could I say, thinking back to last time, could I say 请给我菜单 Please give me the menu. Please give me the menu. And, and is that okay to say that? So please give me the menu. 请给我菜单 it's always useful to be able to reuse constructions and, and I think it, it gives you more practice if you can reuse them all the time. So, 请给我菜单, mm-hmm. 菜单 being the menu. Now, perhaps if if I were in China mm-hmm. ordering uh, or asking for a menu, I perhaps would be quite interested to see if there was an English mm-hmm. menu. Does that happen quite a lot? Would there be an English menu in some restaurants? 
Yes, in big cities, normally you could get English menu. Yeah, but in smaller cities or towns, maybe not. However, they always come out with pictures. Okay, so you、food. can see what you're ordering.、Mm-hmm. Okay, good. How would I ask? Do you have a an English menu? 有英文菜单吗？有英文菜单吗 ？Yeah. So in this case, 有 means have. Okay. 英文 English. Menu. menu, and then the question. question. Okay, so have English menu question. Yo, English 菜单吗？对。Do I not need to say 你有英文菜单吗 ？You could say that, but unnecessarily because you're asking the waitress anyway. Okay. Yeah. So you don't really need to use the 你 Okay. So let's just try that again. 有英文菜单吗？很好。Um, so if if you do have an English menu, what would you hear in return? 有，给你。Okay, so here you are. Yes, we have. Here you are. And if you don't have an English menu, what's the most likely thing? 没有。没有。So we have learned 有 is have.、Mm-hmm. 没有 not have. Okay, Crystal.、Um, I am thinking about another word that we've learned. That's a negative word. Could we not say、uh, "bu yo"? You can say "bu mei yo." So that in that in that situation, the first "bu" is like no. Yes. And then mei yo, mei yo have, not. have not. So when it's "yo," we need to use "mei" with the as a, as a negative,、Instead、not the "bu." Okay, tricky stuff. Right, we've we've come to the restaurant. We've got our table. We have asked for the menu. If you've been asked if there's an English menu, of course, the next thing that we need to do is learn some words for the key food terms that we're going、yeah. to be ordering. However, we're going to do that after the break. We'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that you can get more out of your Coffee Break Chinese experience by signing up for our full course on the Coffee Break Academy. In addition to the audio lessons, you'll get access to bonus listening materials, lesson notes, and video versions of each lesson, showing the Mandarin words and phrases written out in Pinyin and Chinese characters. You can find out more at coffeebreakchinese.com. Now earlier you told us, Crystal, that that food is heaven or something like that. What was that again? 民以食为天。民以食为天。为天。This is a classic Chinese. Basically, the meaning is food is heaven, as、mm-hmm. important as heaven. So food is as important as heaven. Let's learn some. Keywords for for food. Obviously, we can't cover every possible dish in in the vast array of Chinese cuisine, but we're going to learn some keywords. So the main words for fish and beef and pork and so on, and then we'll learn some other ways of of talking about those words also. How? Okay. So first of all, let's focus on perhaps fish. Yu. Yu. That's different from language, isn't it? <laughs> Different tone, okay. <laughs> Don't get your fish and your language mixed up. So you fish second tone,、mm-hmm. um, and what about、uh, beef? Nio ro. I knew we were going to get back to the nio. Right. So that's cow.、Uh, ro is meat. Okay, so cow meat. Nio ro. Uh huh. Nio ro. So we've had you and nio ro. What about pork? Very popular in China. Zhu ro, zhu ro.、Mm-hmm. Um, can I guess that zhu is a pig? Right. Okay, so pig meat. Right. Zhu ro.、Uh, are Are there any other ro type、oh, type words? No. Ji ro, ji ro. If I tell you ji is chicken. Okay, so that must be chicken meat. Ji <laughs> <laughs> ro.、Mm-hmm. Um, anything else? What What would duck be? Ya ro. So would ya be duck? Okay, ya ro. So we've got、uh, chicken, ji ro, duck, ya ro, and 
Yarrow is linked to a very, very mm. famous dish. Mm. What would that be? Beijing Kao Ya. So Beijing is of course Beijing uh-huh. or Peking in its former name. And Kao Ya, the Ya there is the duck. Kao roast. So Beijing roast duck is of course Peking duck. Uh-huh. Beijing Kao Ya. So delicious Peking duck. Mm-hmm. Um, let's go through what we've learned so far. We've had fish, yu, beef, niu rou, pork, zhu rou, duck, ya rou, and chicken, ji rou. Let's add in some more words. What about, is there a word for seafood? Yes, hai xian. Hai xian. So hai means sea, mm-hmm. xian means delicacies. So it's delicacies of the sea. Yeah. Hai xian, mm. hai xian. Um, and what about well, one particular delicacy of the sea that I guess would be very popular uh, would be shrimp or, or prawn. Yeah, in China it's the same. Mm-hmm. Xia. Xia. Mm-hmm. So regardless of the size of the, you the could prawns specify. Xiao xia, small Little, yeah, xia, okay. or da xia. Da xia. Uh-huh. <laughs> so don't get your da xia, da xia and your da xue mixed up. Da xue. <laughs> so that's your big school, your university. Uh-huh. And uh, da, da xia, mm. your prawns. prawns. Okay, mm-hmm. or, or yeah, big king prawns, I guess. Uh-huh. Da xia. Right, so xia would be your prawns or shrimp. What about vegetables? Shu cai. Shu cai. Mm-hmm. Another popular dish is tofu in mm-hmm. Chinese. Tofu. Tofu. Mm. Okay, let's run through all our, our main ingredients here of our, our, of our dishes. First of all, we had fish. Yu. Beef. Niu rou. Pork. Zhu rou. Duck. Ya rou. Chicken. Ji rou. Seafood, hai xian. Prawn or shrimp, xia. Vegetables, shu cai. And tofu, tofu. Okay, now in terms of what we would eat all these meats and vegetables with, mm-hmm. um, well, there are two main things that we'd be thinking about in in China, which would of course be noodles and rice. Right. So noodles, what? How would you talk about noodles in Chinese? Mian. Mian. Mm. Okay. So, can you give some further examples of how we'd hear mian in context? We hear a lot chicken chow mian. Yeah. Yeah. Chow mian, fried noodles. Fried noodles. So chow mian. Mm-hmm. So the mian part is the noodles, mm. and the chow fried. fried. So fried noodles, chow mian. Mm. Um, so how would we say um, chicken chow mein there? Ji rou chow mein. Ji rou chow mein. So that's just putting chicken, ji rou, mm-hmm. with the chow mein noodle. Right. So chow mein, ji rou chow mein, mm-hmm. chicken chow mein. Okay, and if it's not noodles that we're having, how would we say rice? Fan. Have we come across that before? Fan dian. Yeah, that was the word for a, a restaurant. restaurant. So fan mm-hmm. is the word for rice. It's cooked rice. Okay. So how would we talk then about um, boiled rice, for example? Uh-huh. Bai fan. Bai fan. Bai in this case is plain or yeah. white. White. Okay. So it's not fried rice. Right. So it's, it's boiled rice or steamed rice. Mm-hmm. Bai fan. And what about fried rice then? Chao fan. Just like chao mian. mian. Mm. Chao fan. So that's fried rice. Uh-huh. And then we have a very popular dish, dan chao fan. Well, that's something to do with to, to do with fried rice, chao fan. Yeah, we have dan meaning eggs. Ah, so egg fried rice. Right. Dan chao fan. Right. right. Uh, something else that I, I know is very popular is, is dumplings. Jiao zi. Jiao zi. Mm-hmm. So dumplings. Um, anything else? Um, dumplings are very popular in northern China. But in Shanghai or like in south China, hun tun is more popular. Hun tun. 
basically smaller jiaozi, very small. So small dumplings. Mm. Is that what we would translate as as wonton? So wonton soup. 对对对 So hun tun.、Mm-hmm. Right. So those are small dumplings in in the soup, and then we've got jiaozi dumplings.、Mm-hmm. We've got、uh, let me see if I remember them.、Uh, the the fried rice was chao fan. 对 And then egg fried rice, dan chao fan. 非常好 And we also had steamed rice, which was white rice bai fan. 对 Okay, okay. So far, how do we put this together? How how can I say, for example, I want、uh, seafood with fried rice? Mm-hmm. So I want seafood fried, fried rice. rice. I want seafood with fried rice. What about I want、uh, chicken with boiled rice? 我要鸡肉白饭。我要鸡肉白饭。That doesn't make sense. Okay. You, you, if you want separately chicken and boiled rice, you would add 和白饭 Right. So in that case, the the boiled rice obviously wouldn't come in the same dish、That's、as the chicken、right. because if it's fried rice, it would all be be made together. Right. Right, so you would want a, a a portion of boiled rice on the side, as it were. Right. So, 我要呃鸡肉和白饭。对 Right, and in that case, would the chicken come in a sauce, or would it would it just be chicken? Depends the way they cook it. Okay, it could be could be fried chicken,、mm-hmm. could be boiled chicken. Okay, be cold like salad chicken. And if 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 I'm in a restaurant and I see someone next to me. Eating something, and I like the look of it.、Um, could I ask what what is he、mm-hmm. eating, for example? You could say, "This is what? What is it?" Ah, okay, of course. So, "This is what?" So, just pointing to something and say, "What is that?" And then I can listen out for the different words for pork and beef and chicken and so on. Yeah, and decide whether you want it or not. However, you could also say, "What is this he is eating?"、Uh-huh. In Chinese, "He is eating." 是什么 Let's think about this. You said "ta," which is he. He eat. Yeah. The meaning the food he's eating. Okay. She is 什么 What? So what is the food that he is eating? Ta che de she 什么 Let's hear it again. Ta che de she 什么 Ta che de she 什么 Hmm. And if I decide that I like the look of it, how would I say I'll have I'll have the same? 我要 I like 一样的 the same food. 我要一样的、mm. So I'll have the same. 我要一样的 In this case, food is omitted because、mm-hmm. we have a the there. Basically, you could say 我要一样的菜 I want the same food. But you can say, 我要一样的 So the word for food there, food, uh, 菜菜 Yeah, could be, uh, dish. Okay, so I want the same dish. Yeah. 我要一样菜一样的一样的菜 Tone for 菜 Fourth. Fourth. 菜我要一样的菜 Remember menu 菜单菜单 Oh, so it's the same.、List. Right. Okay, it's falling into place. Now, next time in the next lesson, we're going to be putting all of this food vocabulary and the restaurant vocabulary together in a conversation. But before we get there, there are two other things I think are important. First of all,、um, what about the spiciness、mm. of some food? Because some food might be very spicy, and perhaps some of our listeners like spicy. Some of our listeners may not like spicy. So, how do we say is it spicy?、Mm. Spicy, la. La, not spicy, 不辣，不辣。So you want to ask spicy or not spicy? 辣，不辣。That's that same form of asking a question. 好不好？好不好 ？Yeah. So 辣不辣 ？Spicy, not, not spicy. spicy.、Um, and if you hear 很辣 ，very spicy. very spicy. <laughs> okay. And how would we say not very spicy? 不太辣，不太辣，不太辣。
Okay, and the other thing that I think we should think about is the fact that obviously we'll be eating with chopsticks, which are. Kuizi. 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 But sometimes Western visitors <laughs> don't necessarily find chopsticks quite uh, so so easy to use. So, is there a question we can ask? You could ask for dao cha, dao in this case knife, cha fork. So you're asking for a knife and fork. Mm-hmm. Could I say please give me a knife and fork? Qi ying gei wo dao cha. Okay, and could could we say, do you have a knife and fork using that? Mm-hmm. Is it yo? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not quite sure how I would ask. Dao cha ma. Also, can I just say yo dao cha ma? Okay. Or, or if you want to be polite, ting wen. Yo dao cha ma. But hopefully... Hopefully, the the full cultural experience would really be would be achieved more with the quite. Right. Okay, we'll leave it there for this episode. Again, next time we'll be coming back with a full conversation, practicing all of the language that we've covered here. That's where we're leaving this episode. To be perfectly honest, I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. How do you say I'm hungry? Well, <laughs> What mm-hmm. So I'm hungry because we've been talking about food all this time. I think we should go off and have some food. But before we do, just to let you know, of course, that you can access all of the materials for this lesson of Coffee Break Chinese and indeed all the previous lessons featuring video episodes, lesson notes and bonus audio to help you practice and make further progress with your Chinese. Find out about all of that at coffeebreakchinese.com. Don't forget, you can visit Coffee Break Chinese on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Coffee Break Chinese. And why not tell us about your experiences eating food in China with or without kuaiz? Okay, that's it for this episode. We'll be back again soon with more Coffee Break Chinese. Until then, 祝你好胃口! I have no idea what that means. Bon appétit! Ah, bon appétit! Enjoy your food. We'll come back to that next time. You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radio Lingua Network. Copyright 2017, Radio Lingua Limited. Recording copyright 2017, Radio Lingua Limited. All rights reserved.